This is the sample for the foreign currency translation. So on 31st of December 2003, Alpha acquired the entire share capital of Beta, which is a foreign company with currency in FC. At the day of acquisitions, Beta, the subsidiary's statement of financial positions is something like this. This is what we have on 31st of December 2003. Now it is already 31st of December 2004, one year after. We have got the financial statements here, and we have got additional information for the property plan and equipment. For part A, we are asked to translate the financial statement of beta into dollar so that we can prepare our consolidated financial statements. So if we want to consolidate this in dollar, we must translate everything into dollar. Here we assume that beta's functional currency is FC. If beta's functional currency is FC, any translation from FC to dollar is a translation from the functional currency to presentation currency. As we have said before, translation from the functional currencies to presentation currency, this is Cosimway method. Therefore, all assets and liability will be translated using Cosimway. And also for the income statement item, we may use the actual way, but in usual case, if we have got many transactions, we can use the average way to approximate. The question did not tell us exactly the actual exchange way, so this means we will assume that we will use the average way to approximate for all the income and expense. So therefore, you can see that for sales, for example, we use the average way. So 800,000 times 1.42, which is the average way for the year, is 1,136,000. Cost of sales, also average way. Depreciation expense, average way. Operating expense, average way. Taxation, average way. This is for income and expense. As we have said before, dividend is not income and expense. Dividend is a movement in equity. Therefore, we should use the actual exchange way. The question say that when we make the dividend, it is 1.4. So therefore, we use the actual exchange rate for dividend. For retained earnings, usually retained earnings should be an accumulated figures, but this is a very special year. This is a first year after the day of acquisition. Remember, the day of acquisition was 31st of December 2003. On that day, we acquired the subsidiary, and therefore the earliest applicable exchange rate is that day. On that day, the exchange rate was 1.5. So therefore, the retained earning is actually the retained earning at the day of acquisition, which we should use the 1.5, which is the day of acquisition's exchange rate to translate. Next year, the opening retained earnings will become 230,000 FC, which will be translated to 340,700. This is an accumulated figures. You don't have one single exchange rate to translate for the retained earning you must accumulate the figures to 340,700. This is for the income statement. After we translate the statement of financial position, all assets and liability, therefore property, plant equipment, inventory, accounts receivable, bank, and accounts payable, all will be translated using the Cosin way. That means the year-end way, which is 1.35. After we translate all the assets and liability, we translate the equity. For share capital, we acquired this subsidiary on 31st of December 2003. Therefore, the relevant exchange rate is 1.5. So we translate using 1.5. For retained earnings, we just copy the figure from the statement of retained earnings, which is 340,700 here. So we copy from the statement of retained earnings. You can see that 640,700 cannot balance with the balance sheet, and therefore this is a balancing figure. We insert one item here. Why we cannot balance the balance sheet? Because we use different exchange rate to translate for all the items. Therefore, there's an exchange difference. Under the closing rate method, any exchange difference goes to translation reserve. Therefore, we insert our figures here transition reserve, which is a debit, 60,200. 
If the question did not ask anything otherwise, you can insert this debit transition reserve as a balancing figure. If the question asks you why it is 60,200 or the question asks you for a reconciliation, you can do a reconciliation. This is the reconciliation that we mean. We can reconcile the figures. How? Why we have got transition reserve for the closing win method is because for all assets and liability, every year you use a new exchange rate because we are going to use the closing rate for all assets and liability. And therefore, this is the case. The opening net asset, as you can see from the financial statement, is 370,000. You can use the equity figures or you can use the asset minus liability, which is 370. We start from 370,000. We start from 370,000. On that day, the exchange rate relevant is 1.5. So you have used 1.5 to translate for this opening net asset. The closing net asset, closing net asset, as you can see from the balance sheet, closing net asset is 430, 430. Therefore, the net asset increased from 370 to 430. Why? Because you got profit. The profit is 85,000. This is the profit. We will have translated for all the profits up to here, this 85,000 using the average way. And therefore, this is 120,700. And you have translated for the dividend at 1.4. This is 35,000. Therefore, all the profits, that means all income expenses, has been translated using the average way. And for dividend, which is a movement in equity, you have translated using the actual exchange rate, is, which is 1.4. Therefore, in your accounting record, you should have 640,700. However, you must translate all the net assets, all assets and liability at the year end using the closing rate, which is 1.35. And therefore, it must be 580,500. So therefore, actually, the net asset in terms of dollar goes down. If the net asset goes down, this is something no good, debit, right? So therefore, you debit the transition reserve. This reconciles with our debit to the transition reserve.